Yo, what's up? It's your boy Carcino here. Let's talk about it. And for those who want to support the page and continuously love the work, click the link in the description box. I don't have to be live for you to do it. And make a donation to the page. Don't forget to leave your email or something if you want me to hit you back with something. Um, that's one way I connect with my fans and subscribers. Because some subscribers be, yo, man, I ain't a fan of nobody, son. Yeah, tell them. I just subscribe because I like your stuff, man. Hey, it's cool. <laughs> now, get back to the title of the video. Now, Jay-Z is one of the largest artists in the world. Net worth is over $900 million. He's married to a woman whose net worth is about the same as they are pushing and striving to be a billionaire power couple. Would Jay-Z have been in this position if Tupac and Biggie didn't pass away? This question has been brought to me a lot of different times. I've thought I've answered it many times over again, but... Let's go over it one more time. If Biggie and Tupac were alive, both of them alive, it would have changed the spectrum of a lot of different things in hip hop. Because hip hop was growing and Biggie would have been one of the pri premier artists in the world. While Jay-Z would have basically been the second tier under him and would have derailed the success they had mon monumentally because Jay-Z I think would have probably gotten out of the game and would eventually had to break apart from Biggie because they would have went towards the direction of Jay-Z breaking up with Rockefeller and that would have whole thing would have would have torpedoed a lot earlier which would have probably delayed the uh, inevitable like we would have never gotten Kanye West college dropout we would have gotten it at a much lower production rate and it probably wouldn't have come out in the right way it would have been like a, a underground Lupe Fiasco album which was great but it was local success we wouldn't, a lot of things would have been disturbed. We wouldn't have gotten the Cameron Oh Boy album. We wouldn't have gotten a lot of the Just Blaze, uh, Rise, Baseline Studios, all those great hits that was put out. No State Property, uh, Old Skeen on them, you never heard of them. A lot of things wouldn't have taken place in that scenario. It changes everything. That's like Flashpoint for real. Because the West Coast would have still been one of the most prominent, dominant areas of music at that time. That would have affected Atlanta. Because Tupac's energy is what kept them going. Hold on for a moment. Ah, uh, Now, Jay-Z, like I said... Jay-Z would not have been in that position, but a lot of other people would have been derailed, too. As if Tupac was alive, a lot of things that we saw on the West Coast wouldn't have probably jumped off. We This would probably have hurt the, the expansion of artists such as Jay-Z and 50 Cent and even Eminem. Yeah. This would have hurt Eminem too because Death Row would have still been in power at this point. It was only Tupac Shug would have still been out of jail. Tupac wouldn't have had these cases against him. Death Row would have still been in power, which means they would have continued to have a stranglehold over Dr. Dre in the West Coast. So the Chronic 2001 would have probably been on the shelf or never even heard of. Eminem probably don't get signed in the midst of all of this. Ice-T probably signs him at the time. A lot of different things could go wrong in hip-hop or different. Not to say wrong, but different. 
because there wouldn't have been a bad boy tour in which Jay Z was probably on. It would have been the commission thing they've done later, which had something to do with all these different branches of people coming aboard. And with the commission album out, that means that the firm wouldn't have jumped off the way that it did. The commission came out and they would have made it a hit. And Jay Z's Volume 1 album that was supposed to come out after the fact wouldn't have gotten done in the way that it did. Um, the commission album Blue, Jay would have eventually. Changed his name to Iceberg Slim would have broken away from Rockefeller and Dame a lot quicker and moved on to go with Biggie to try to get his fame right away. Jay wanted to be famous really bad and he was willing to ride as many coattails as he took to get there. He just wanted to get there, but the Hard Knock Life song hit, and once he was there, he was never gonna go back. And I admire that grind. You know, he put the grind in, but it would it would have just changed monumentally if Big E was there. Jay Z was rise would have probably just came later. You know, but it would have been off the wave of Big E more instead of his own stride. So I mean, it would have changed a lot of different things. So if Everybody asked me about that, about Tupac. If they didn't do that, I would have I would have rather went that way than to lose those two. Because it definitely put a big hole in the in the industry as rap was headed toward the billion dollar mark and real money was coming in. You know, it was like okay, serious money. Rap generate a billion dollars for the first time in history you know a billion that had never been done before so there wasn't just some small mom and pop thing anymore this is a real business and no one is at the helm so everybody wants to try to get their hand on the on the wheel of who's controlling it all and whoever controls the music and the genre well that's what it was going to be uh, digital media end up coming in and becoming a major play in the factor but uh, in the digital era Tupac if Tupac was still doing what he was doing 20 years later in the game I don't see Tupac sticking around that long but if he was around in the digital era like Twitter Facebook oh my god he would be a multi-millionaire <laughs> Multi, multi, multi millionaire. His personality is too explosive to to contain. He's a, he's been gone for over twenty years, and he got people, Mexicans, blacks, everybody following behind him. And he's not he, he's not even here anymore. He made such a mark in just twenty five years. It's amazing. So. Yeah, I understand. But let me get out of here, y'all. I've been wasting a lot of you guys' time. It's your boy, Carcino, man. I'm out. Y'all have a blessed day out there. And like I told you, click the link in the description box if you want to donate to the page. Please.